In this video, I give you a side-by-side -side comparison of Le Creuset versus Staub. You'll learn how their Dutch ovens differ in design, performance, weight, and more. I also reveal my test results that show if Stobe's self-basting lid actually makes a difference. Let's get started. When you look at Stobe and La Crusade Dutch ovens side by side, the first difference you'll notice is the knob attached to the center of the lid. Stobe's lid knobs are made out of steel with nickel or brass exterior. They are oven safe up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit and get extremely hot whether you're cooking on the stove or in the oven. You can buy replacement handles in the shape of different animals like a cow, a rooster, and a pig, which is a fun way to label what's inside if you have multiple Dutch ovens going at once. La Crusade Dutch ovens come with either a black phenolic knob that has a rubbery texture or a smooth stain stainless steel knob. In addition to the standard stainless look, the steel knobs are available with a decorative metallic gold or copper finish. The main difference between the black and the steel knobs is the oven safe temperatures. The classic black knob is oven safe up to 380 degrees, the signature black knob is oven safe up to 480 degrees, and all the steel knobs can handle up to 500 degrees. If you look closely at the knobs, you'll notice that Stobes is smaller with a thinner stem. La Creuset knobs are thicker and give you more to grab onto and squeeze. The larger size also gives you more control when tilting the lid to check on the food. Dutch oven lids are heavy, so having a bigger knob makes handling La Creuset easier and safer, especially when you're wearing a bulky oven mitt. Another significant difference between Stobe and La Creuset Dutch ovens is the size of the side handles. La Creuset handles are much wider and roomier than Stobe. La Creuset handles have a 1.25 inch opening for you to get a sturdy grip. The opening on Staub handles is less than an inch. This may not seem like a significant difference, but when you go to move a piping hot Dutch oven full of food from the stove to the oven, you'll appreciate La Creuset's wider handles. As you can see, I can easily fit an oven mitt around the La Creuset handles. You can fit your hands around the Staub handles, but it's much more snug. Except for the rim of the pot, every exterior inch of La Creuset Dutch ovens is coated in enamel, including the handles. At a glance, it appears that's the case with Stobe too. However, if you look closer, you'll notice that the inside of the side handles is bare cast iron. It seems like Stobe sprayed the enamel but didn't angle the sprayer to reach the inside of the handles. You can't see the bare cast iron at most angles, but you can feel its rough texture when you pick up the Dutch ovens without gloves. If you turn over the lids, you'll see a pretty significant difference between Stobe and La Creuset. Stobe lids have small bumps that capture evaporated liquid and drip it evenly across the center of the pot. La Creuset lids are smooth, but do the bumps matter? Do they really distribute moisture more evenly across the pot? To find out, I put these Dutch ovens to the test. First, I poured 32 ounces of water in both Dutch ovens. Then, I brought the water to a boil and let it continue boiling for 10 minutes to gather enough steam inside. After 10 minutes, I lifted each lid without tilting it and slipped a sheet pan with a paper towel on top right beneath the lid. I let the lid rest on the paper towel for 20 seconds. Not only did the stove lid distribute the water droplets more evenly, but the lid also captured significantly more water. As you can see, the paper towel under the La Creuset lid had some water around the edges, but only a little bit in the center, while the paper towel under the stove lid was almost completely saturated with water. These results confirm that the design of stove lids traps and distributes moisture better than La Creuset. So yes, the bumps on the lid really do make a difference. Now, does that mean that food is gonna taste better when cooked in a stove? Well, that depends. If you're cooking a meal that benefits from continuous self-basting like a roasted chicken, then yes. But if you're cooking soup or sauce, having the condensation drip more evenly across the pot won't make a noticeable difference. The heavy, tight-fitting lids on Dutch ovens lock in moisture, resulting in tender, juicy meals. It's one of the main reasons people love Dutch ovens so much. To find out which Dutch oven retains moisture the best, I conducted a simple test. First, I poured precisely 64 ounces of cold water into both Dutch ovens and secured the lids on top. Then I placed them on the stove and turned the heat to high. After the water began to boil, I turned the heat to low and let it simmer for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, I let the Dutch ovens rest on the counter for another 30 minutes with the lid still on. Finally, I poured the remaining water into a measuring cup to determine which Dutch oven retained the most. Of the 64 ounces of water I poured at the start of the test, Stobe retained 56 ounces and La Creuset retained only 52 ounces. Although both Dutch ovens retained most of the moisture, Stobe is superior to La Creuset in this category. Another key difference between Stobe and La Creuset Dutch ovens is their interiors. La Creuset's interior is smooth and sand-colored, while Stobe's features a matte black interior 
that is stain resistant and won't show discoloration over time. There are pros and cons to each brand's approach. La Creuset's sand colored interior allows you to clearly see and monitor the browning and doneness of your food. Stobe's dark interior hides stains better, but makes it more difficult to monitor browning and fond development. Both interiors can scratch and stain, but because La Creuset's interior has a lighter color, the damage is more noticeable. Both brands offer a variety of exterior colors, but La Creuset is the clear winner in this category. While Stobe has around a dozen colors, La Creuset has nearly 20, and they are constantly adding new ones. Many of their colors are bright and distinct, like their iconic orange flame color and their Caribbean blue. During the enameling process, two separate colors are applied to create a beautiful two-toned gradient that you'll see on most pieces. Another key difference between Stobe and La Creuset Dutch ovens is their weight and thickness. Stobe Dutch ovens are made with a noticeably thicker walls. The top part of Stobe's walls are 4.6 millimeters and La Creuset walls are 3.8 millimeters. Because of their thickness, Stobe Dutch ovens are heavier. For example, this Stobe round 5.5 quart Dutch oven weighs 12.8 pounds, while this La Creuset 5.5 quart Dutch oven weighs 11.5 pounds. Although Dutch ovens are heavy in general, La Creuset pieces are a bit lighter and easier to maneuver, which is especially important if you plan to do stove to oven meals that require you to lift the Dutch oven when it's full and piping hot. Both brands have a long history and a reputation for producing some of the best enameled cast iron cookware in the world. But with that comes a price. Both brands are expensive, but stove Dutch ovens are slightly more affordable. The price varies by size and color, but expect to save between $20 and $50 with stove. If both brands are over your budget, sign up for my free newsletter in the pinned comment and I'll email you when they go on sale. So should you buy a Stobe or a La Creuset Dutch oven? The key advantages of La Creuset Dutch ovens are that they're light and easier to maneuver, the handles are larger, the sand colored interior makes it easier to monitor browning, and the exterior colors are nearly limitless. But there's a lot to like about Stobe Dutch ovens too. They're thicker and heavier, which allows them to retain heat and moisture better, the self-basting lids distribute liquids more evenly over the pot, and stains and scratches are less noticeable on the dark colored interior. Ultimately, you can't go wrong with either. They're both high-performing, durable, and elegantly designed, and they're both made in France by expert craftsmen. And unlike many other brands, both operate their own production facilities, which helps maintain strict quality standards. If you're ready to buy or just want to learn more, I'll link to websites that sell both brands in the description of this video. Those are affiliate links, so I'll earn a commission if you click and buy, but at no extra cost to you. If this video was helpful, check out this video where I highlight the best La Creuset alternatives. And don't forget to click the logo to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.